Okay, welcome back. This is part 24 of my How to Build a Community Site tutorial series. And in the last video, we continued on with our profile page and creating the profile page. Uh, so if I go ahead and click on it, click on my profile page, you can see immediately that I did what I said I was going to do. I went ahead and added my uh, avatar image, which currently this is my profile picture for most websites that I use Basic Nick for. Um, YouTube, develop PHP, whatnot. Um, and it's still displaying my information. Uh, and I also fixed the source code button. And the reason this gap is here because we have the left and right um, areas um, on our profile page all the way at the bottom. Um, and now the uh, I, what I did to fix the problem is I added in this class here uh, on our bottom page, this class at the very top of the file. And in the uh, CSS file, I added in that class. And what it does is it just clears both. Um, so I forgot to add that in earlier, but it's here now. Um, so uh, I have decided how I'm going to style the profile page, at least to start off with. Um, now one of the major problems is, is you can tell that this image is huge, at least for the website. It's uh, 512 by 512, I believe. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to shrink down the image. Now to do that, it's relatively simple, actually. Uh, we just have to give our image, uh, we need to give it uh, width and height attributes. So we want to say width equals, and then height equals. Um, and who else want to say pixels? Now, I'm thinking something like 250. So 250. So actually, I am going to FTP this file uh, just to see it, because I won't be able to look at it on my... Uh, local host because of the local host connecting problems and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, I think that's what I'm going to go with for now. So it's displaying the image and it's 250 pixels by 250 pixels. So yeah, so that's good. Um, now what we want to do is uh, I'm going to create some uh, CSS styling and I'm going to go to the uh, CSS file. I'm going to scroll up to the uh, right after our box classes and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually copy the uh, box class itself and I'm going to say um, pound profile so this is going to be the profile styles and the first thing is I'm going to put the image or better yet we'll say left um, eh, yeah, we'll put it as a class. And I'm also going to say right. So we're going to create a left and right class. Now, you might be thinking, oh, well, I should just use the existing uh, IDs, the ID stylings. And the reason is because the left side is the larger side, and the right side is the smaller side normally. But I want the image and uh, some other information displayed uh, on this side. So that's going to be about 270. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to copy the code and it's inside of our left styling and I'm going to paste it inside the right styling and I'm going to change the float to right. And actually I'm going to make those into pound symbols. Right, oops, right there. And I'm going to grab the code for the left and paste it in the left, change the float to left. So just like that, and what that's going to do is it's going to switch the um, the sizes of our um, our left and right columns, if you will. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the profile page, and I am going to no, I don't think I'm going to remove it. Um, right above our image, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create that uh, class. So div id equals profile, and I'm actually going to put this, that at the very, whoa, at the very top of that, and I'm going to copy it, and this is going to be the left, and I'm going to copy it, paste it after the image, and I'm going to put it to right, and also after the image, I'm going to end the div, and after all of this information is displayed, I'm going to end this div and then end the other div. So, 
what that's doing is we're displaying our uh, profile picture, the avatar image, inside of the left area, and we're displaying all of the other information inside of the right area. So it's going to uh, make our image right here, and then all of our other information kick it over to here and we're going to display all of that inside of there. Now, just putting the text there is really boring, and really, there's nothing really special about it. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use Spiffy Corners. You can uh, get the code for it at spiffycorners.com. You just put in a class name. I'm calling it Corners. Background color, which is the background color for my website, and the foreground color, which is the color of your box, if you will. And I'm going to be using this, uh, except I'm going to modify it a little bit, to uh, work for my site and the uh, color codes right there and it's only uh, it's five pixel or you just hit enter or whatever uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the CSS for this and I'm going to paste it inside of my CSS file all the way at the bottom and I'm gonna save the file and scroll back up and on the profile page I'm gonna get the all of this HTML code right there and it's just a couple of divs. And inside of our right, I'm going to paste all the info in. Now, the problem with this is since uh, we're using this inside of an echo statement, we need to replace all of these double quotation marks with single quotation marks. So, I am going to um, replace all of these real quick. Okay, so there we go. So I've replaced all of that, and I am also going to indent that. So just like that. So this is our code now and I'm going to kick that up. So you're probably a little bit confused right now um, which is understandable. And I'm going to put this inside of here. So we are now displaying this information inside of a oops inside of a text box, or a, uh, not a text box, um, a box, uh, yeah, I'm confusing myself, don't worry. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pause the video and I'm going to FTP those uh, files that we've edited, our CSS file, our profile picture, and our profile page. So I'm going to FTP those up and be right back. Okay, so I've FTP'd the files. I'm going to go ahead and refresh our page here. And you can see we now have this all the way over there. Uh, it's not what we wanted. Um, uh, huh. Hmm. Um, so that's obviously problematic, but our image is where we want it to be. Um, and I think that may be due to some CSS problems. Left with blah, blah, blah. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video once again and figure out why this isn't working. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I, uh, I fixed it up, and you can see this is now what it looks like. It's showing our image, our 250 pixel image, this nice little, like, 7-ish uh, pixel. Uh, it's actually like 5 or something like that. Anyway, uh, sort of margin area in between them. And then it's showing this box with our information inside of the box, which is what I wanted it to do. Um, but you can tell that it doesn't look very nice, and that's because what I'm going to do is it's going to have a top, and the top is going to display the username and uh, possibly some other information, but probably just say uh, username and then uh, profile page at uh, on Nick, uh, basicnick.com or something like that. Um, and then inside of that, we're going to have sort of a uh, all of our information inside of there, and then it's going to be um, uh, it's going to have a border, and the border is going to uh, kind of go around it. So essentially, we're going to get rid of all of this dark color inside of here, and then uh, we'll make everything work out. Um, and then eventually, what we're going to do is on over here, if the YouTube uh, username is entered. What we're going to do is we're going to use a uh, a YouTube uh, plugin or uh, widget, whatever they're whatever YouTube actually calls it. Uh, what we're going to do is, and that's going to uh, show the uh, profile uh, information for uh, and the and the YouTube videos and things that uh, that username has. 
So I'm going to stop this video here. In the next video, we will continue on with our profile page.